Aaron here for Zolotech, and today Apple released watchOS 3.2 beta 1. Now I normally don't cover these betas, but this one is a little bit different in that it includes theater mode. And a lot of you were expecting theater mode in iOS 10.3, but we didn't see that with the beta that's on here, but we do see a theater mode on the watch. It's not anything incredibly special, but it is a welcome addition. Let me turn it on here and slide up and you'll see there's a little theater icon. If I tap on the theater icon, it says theater mode turns on silent mode and keeps the screen dark until you tap the screen or press the digital crown or side button. That's really all it does. So let me hit theater mode. Now it says theater mode on. I'll cover it, shut it off. And if we get a notification, it will no longer turn on the screen unless I tap it just by doing this. And that's it. And you'll see there's a little theater mode icon at the top. And then to turn it off, just tap on the icon. So as long as this is on and I get a notification, it will only use the Taptic engine to vibrate your wrist to let you know there's a notification. Otherwise, if you lift your wrist up or move it or anything like that, it will not turn the screen on unless you actually tap the screen or push the buttons. So that's really all it is. As far as this update goes, it's just bug fixes and things like that with watchOS. And let me show you actually the build number. So you'll see the build number is kind of long. It's 3.2 14V5205D. And that brings the theater mode. Now that's pretty much it for theater mode. And maybe we'll see that on the watch. Maybe we won't. And I honestly don't use the watch a whole lot, to be honest. I, I took my time to install this. It took probably an hour, maybe even an hour and a half or so to download about a 200 meg update, install it to the phone, reboot it, all that sort of thing. It took forever to actually install this, but now it works. It works fine. And that's pretty much it. As far as that update goes, that's the only new thing you'll really notice there. There's just some bug fixes and SOS and things like that. If you're in India, otherwise that's all you've got. So let me know what you think of theater mode. Uh, I think it's going to be handy for a lot of people and it would be nice on the iPhone as something to actually blank the screen. If you get notifications and you just want to know, but you can basically just keep it in your pocket to do the same thing. But let me know what you think about a theater mode. And I really don't think we're going to see a dark mode for quite some time on iOS, but maybe we will. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like, as always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.